Hello and welcome to Quick Tips 36 and in this Quick Tips I just want to flag an issue that has caught me out a few times and uh, perhaps uh, if you watch this you'll be less likely to be uh, caught out. And what that is, is I like to use the print statement when I'm debugging a program. And uh, what happens every now and again is I get a very confusing behavior in the print statement which is really inexplicable. But in reality, the answer is very, very simple. So let me just demonstrate that. And I've created a super simple program here. What we're doing is clearing the print log. We're calculating the value of the 14 period ADX and we're plotting that value on the chart. And then we're printing the date, time and the ADX value. So very, very simple. And I've got this applied to a three minute e-mini chart and uh, everything seems to be fine. But if we were to go down to the print statement and just uh, highlight this, you'll see we have this slightly confusing occurrence. And that is the ADX uh, says it's 16.04, then it's 16.01, 16.04, 16.01. And I think for this program, you'd probably realize what's going on very, very quickly. But for, for a more complex program, you might waste a little bit of time doing some unnecessary debugging. And the answer to this is what I've done is I've actually got two charts open. And if I arrange all, you'll see this chart appear here. And what I've got it done, uh, the program applied to, in addition to the E-mini, is the E-mini NASDAQ 100 continuous contract. And so what's happening in the print statement, we're getting both the, uh, the print statement for this chart and for the E-mini chart and uh, they're appearing one after the other and this is creating the confusing behavior so you probably would have realized this um, yourself but just to just to warn you that uh, sometimes for a complex program you perhaps had it applied to another chart you might be seeing the value for that other chart as well as the chart that you're debugging anyway this is a quick tip 36 please join our email list at markplex.com and uh, hope you find this useful.